bila saya di mana saya belajar berapa lama saya hidup dia tak dapat bayangkan jadi oh. what are the first thing that makes oh. it real for her oh. Saraya Ibu sekarang Dan tempoh hari bila Sujimi buat Satu live video di Mostar Ada seorang yang tinggal di Saraya Ibu uh, Selma Dia kata dia uh, follow uh, video saya Dia pandai berbahasa Melayu Jadi dia dan suaminya menjemput uh, kita semua Untuk pergi ke rumahnya Okey, itu Admi, suami kepada follower saya yang ikut video-video uh, saya. Saya tak sangka saya ada follower di Sarajevo. <laughs> Ini rumah dia. Ikut dia, cara dia. Assalamualaikum. Assalamualaikum. Hello. <laughs> you are Selma? Nice to meet you. Yeah, thank you. This is your children. Tengok. Hi. Oh, you have two daughters. Yes. This is Mubina and this is Ilmo. Very cozy place. Selma, you boleh cakap bahasa Melayu? Boleh. Tapi saya sudah lama, 10 tahun lebih tak berpulang untuk cakap bahasa Melayu mungkin. Oh. Boleh sikit. Tahun berapa you berada di Malaysia? Uh, tahun 93 sehingga tahun 2000, 2006. Pada waktu tu memang di sini ada peperangan? Uh, oh. 93 sehingga 95. Rumah you tengok. Dia punya view bukan macam cantik lagi. Penonton tengok. Can see the airport here? Yes. I think dia orang heran tengok. Kita orang Singapura. Ni orang Melayu asli. <laughs> Sebab ni kali oh. pertama mereka dapat keluar untuk berjumpa. Selalunya saya bercerita sebab um, anak saya suka belajar apa? map, world map. Oh, Jadi okay. bila saya tunjuk bila saya di mana saya belajar berapa lama saya hidup dia tak dapat bayangkan. Jadi oh. what are the first thing that makes oh. it real for her? How do you know about my page? You follow my page? Kawan-kawan saya di Facebook ni ramai uh, kawan daripada universiti. Salah seorang daripada kawan saya share your post about daughters and kisses. Oh <laughs> yeah 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 yeah. I, you saw that? You saw the I video? Yeah, you must show him. <laughs> So that's how I started following you. Oh, and okay. And when I when I saw that you actually uh, came here, I just wanted to meet you. So I okay. just take meat and I make it uh, juicy. Oh, <laughs> okay. And some rice. In some of the restaurants, kan kita makan mm -hmm. semua serve soup. Is that the culture kat sini? Soup is a must here. Yeah. Oh, okay. We never okay. eat before eating the soup first. Okay, okay, I understand. In the winter. Especially in the winter because the soup kind of warms up your stomach and makes it ready for all the other food. Oh, gitu. Okay. In the summer, we do not really eat much soup. Jumpo makan, eh? Best lah dapat makan. Is this traditional food? This is traditional. This is, and this is. Ah. This is sour cream, okay. and this is. Something like what the Canadians have maple syrup. So yeah. let's dig in. This is the soup. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Thank you. Oh wow, very nice. Oh, it's like roti prata, roti canai. But they call it pita here. Bismillah. Wow, lembut eh. They don't like roti canai langsung. Dalam dia ada daging. You can cook it with this thing. Jadi sekarang saya nak try yang ini. Thank you. Dia kasih buat tangan. Okay, so you guys actually built this house or? Wow, from scratch. Well done. Well done. Wow. Well done. It's still, yes, it's still not finished, as you see, but we are on the way. Come to see the view. Come, okay, let's see the view. MashaAllah, look at that. Every day you get to see this. All the time that I've lived down there, I never looked up here to see that there are homes until I met here. Land is something that people inherit or they buy. Oh, so okay. My husband, he inherited it from us. How much more things you need to do before the house is completed? 
I don't know. Mm. We can live like this. I, I don't miss anything. I'm satisfied with it. Alhamdulillah. Yeah. I see your girls, I miss my girls already. <laughs> you see? <laughs> ah. current Prime Minister and at the time when I was in Malaysia, Dr. Mahathir Mohamed, uh, I wouldn't have gotten the chance, you know, to come from all, all the way from here to there. And the sole reason why my mother chose Malaysia was because it was um, an Islamic country. And it somehow, um, my mother passed away uh, seven years ago. She always says it was the right decision to make, that she made at that time. Actually, uh, among, when, while I was studying at university, uh, all the Bosnian students called me the Malay girl. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. So I was, I was that well assimilated. But once I came here, of course, I had a totally different identity in a totally different setting. I picked up on it as well. So I see myself um, as a person who got the chance to live two lives. Because I studied at International Islamic University, Malaysia, I would most definitely uh, wish the same thing for my daughters. Oh, okay. We have a similar experience through the social media. I am um, somehow still active actively involved from another part of the world okay um everything has been a very pleasant experience for me a very rewarding experience i can tell you that you are a very lucky because you have leaders who love your country we are still recovering from the so this is bosnian coffee yes. we drink it in such way we take care Oh, okay. Demonstrate it. <laughs> we, take right. it we dip it in. Okay. So you chip a piece of sugar. You just chip it in your mouth. You don't put the whole thing. So the only, only the thing that, that was dipped into the coffee, you would bite it off. Oh, and then okay. you sip coffee, letting the sugar melt in your mouth. Oh, okay. Not you dip in. <laughs> no, okay. no, no, no. So, dip. so you bite. <laughs> Then you drink. Mm. Bosnia coffee. We are just so happy you are okay to welcome us into your homes. Yeah. I was also thinking I don't know how appropriate is my story that I lived in Malaysia for for for, for those years. Considering the fact that now you have, there are, there, there is a wave of, of refugees who, des who are more deserving. I can only say positive things. I've never had a single negative experience. Mm -hmm. My 13 yeah. years in Malaysia, mm -hmm. not only really once. My foster family, they were wonderful people. Mm -hmm. I still do keep in touch with them today. A very big part of my life. Even though right. I was a child, a teenager, later on, a young adult, um, I can say that they also played a big role in shaping me as a person, alongside with my parents, because I spent quite some time with them. Right. Uh, they made it a point, like, uh, I mean, this, this, these are small things that matter. They made it a point that every time uh, they go shopping with Bajuraya for their children, they would take me as well. Oh. I was never left out. And uh, small things like that. Uh, That's actually, nice. I was included, I was just like their own child. I would come more often. It's been a great pleasure. And thank you for contacting me. Bye, girls. See you. Bye. Bye. See you, Sam. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Okay, kita dah habis dah sampai di airport. This is our uh, 
last day di sini Sarajevo di tempat yang paling-paling seronok sesuai sangat untuk kita terokai bahawa keluarga Masya Allah tadi dapat jumpa keluarga yang sangat baik saya sangat-sangat gembira saya hanya dapat berikan doa kepada keluarga Selma dan juga Admir terima kasih Selma dan Admir Uh, semoga Allah memberkati hidup anda Dari Sarajevo, Suji mengucapkan Selamat tinggal dan Assalamualaikum